Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, I'm making a video every single day talking about cryptocurrencies and about my investment journey. Okay, so today we're just going to take a little bit of a look into the markets in general. Uh, Bitcoin making new all-time high. And the problem about this is the volume is really low. Although we've hit the new all-time high, we've not really smashed through it. So I'm not really sh feeling too confident about this. But then again, anything can happen. So we'll see how this plays out. Taking a look at the big winners today, we can see XRP up, t up about 20%. Um, Polygon also doing fairly decent and Dogecoin also doing quite well. Um, it's been a kind of relatively slow day in the market. Actually, you can see a lot of these coins like XRP, Polygon, Dogecoin, EOS, Tron, Stellar, Cardano. The ones that seem to do well today is quite a lot of the OG coins. We've got NEO as well, but not really massive games to talk about apart from XRP. So I've been reading this article about XRP and talking about DeFi coming to XRP. Maybe it's going to be on one chain um, or some other chains. Uh, so I think XRP could be the play after Matic or some of these layer two solutions. I'm not saying buy some now because it's really on a pump, but maybe just keep an eye on it for some dips. Uh, I mentioned Doge in my Telegram group. I kind of got a feeling that we've gone through this kind of consolidation phase after the last pump and we're going to go through some kind of manic next wave pump. So it's just a kind of feeling I've got. There's not too much technicals on it, but so I bought a really small bag and we'll see what happens with that as well. Probably just a little short term play. So taking a look at the Bitcoin dominance chart, we can see we're already way into this green box and it's probably healthy that we see some kind of correction in the form of a rise in the Bitcoin price probably come to meet this 14 day moving average um, and then I kind of expect that we will dip down more if we look at the alt season indicator we're still way up there nothing too much to talk about in that regard so on to the comments. Thank you guys for leaving some comments. Um, Marcus Nelson asked, do you think Matic is a good hold from here for this bull run? And any thoughts on root? Yeah, definitely. I mean, take a look at the popularity of Binance Smart Chain and how it's made DeFi affordable for normal people. But just remember that there are risks. There's competitors and it's going to be a battle to see which one succeeds. I mean, the chart doesn't look great. Usually I wouldn't advocate for buying something which has gone up at this rate, but I also bought it when it had gone up this rate as well. It's just really important to take some profits once you start to get some gains. I know it's really hard to do, but once you lock in those gains, then you're going to be feeling a lot more comfortable. Matic is kind of cooled off a little bit since hitting a high, and yet it's probably a good time to start dollar cost averaging if you've not got any already. Looking at the root USD chart, we are still in this uptrend. So again, it's the same kind of principle. You could start dollar cost averaging buying here as we're on a dip. And as long as we don't break this trend line, then I'm still really bullish on this. I bought into root at about $2.08. So I'm doing really well on here. But on quick swap, which I would recommend getting into, I actually bought at a top basically at like $400, I think. And now it's kind of flawed out, so probably I would recommend to get some quick swap as I think this offered a best risk to return ratio. And then we also got staking around the corner. I think they are going to make some changes to the website. So there's a lot of exciting stuff on the horizon for quick swap. And what I think is if quick swap can grow and become that big reliable exchange and kind of base that we need on Polygon, then all of the farming projects are going to grow from that. If you want to stake stable coins, I also recommend looking into EasyFi and um, probably just take a look at my last video. I'll show you how to get over to the Polygon network from Ascendex and it's really easy and it just costs 20 cents. So probably the responsible thing for an 
from an investment point of view to do is also look at other layer two solutions and we'll definitely do that in the coming videos so yeah because i'm a big believer in quick swap what i'm gonna do is double down on my investment on this floor today and then i'm really hoping that we get to stake in in the next few days okay that's it for today guys i hope you liked the video make sure you hit the thumbs up and if you're into this kind of thing make sure you subscribe to the channel i'll see you tomorrow